Okay, so let's jump straight into Photoshop. And as you can see already, I've got two stock images placed into Photoshop. So you can download both of these stock images below. So what I'm gonna do is place this car stock image in first so that we have the, the document size of this car. And then we're gonna come up to file and place embedded and you wanna place this woman doing ballet um, into the scene. So what I'm gonna just do quick is explain about this image which has multiple light sources. So we've got these reds over on the left and the yellows over on the right. So we're gonna place the woman into that image and we're gonna add the yellowy tones on the right and the red tones on the left as well as match her to build a seamless composition. So. First things first, we need to make a selection, which I've already done um, to speed things up. So I'm gonna come up to select and load selection. And we wanna to come to woman, I'm gonna click okay. Now we do have a full course on making selections if you're unsure how. I done this with the pen tool to get a nice accurate selection. So now with our selection made around the woman, I'm just gonna come and click on the layer mask icon, which is gonna create a layer mask around our selection, revealing just the woman. Now, next we wanna transform the woman to place her into the image in the right perspective, roughly the right size. So here, let's have a look. Roughly there should be good. So hit enter or return to place. So you can see already with these stock images, the perspective is the same. So you wanna match the perspective when choosing your stock images. Um, so what we wanna do first is just kinda of create um, a blend with our woman and this main image. So we're gonna use some techniques um, to do so. I just wanna shout out quickly Nathaniel Dodson at Tupvid. Um, he's got great techniques on this and we will use some of those in this video. So the first thing we wanna do is adjust the levels. Now, before we do that, we're gonna add some help layers above all the layers to help us create a seamless blend. So we wanna come down here to our adjustment layers and we wanna add a black and white adjustment layer. So everything is now black and white, and what we're gonna do is we are gonna adjust the levels of the woman with this black and white help layer on. So let's come again to our adjustment layers and add a levels adjustment. We just wanna click this icon to create a clipping mask so it only applies to the woman. And now what we can do is we can adjust these settings. It's only gonna to apply to the woman and we can do so with black um, a black and white layer applied so we're only doing the levels. So the saturation isn't going to affect us here. So what we wanna do basically is match the blacks to the blacks in this image. So if we turn this off, we can see that certain areas of the woman are dark and we kinda wanna create a better blend with the woman um, and the background. So let's turn this on. You can start playing with the sliders. So whether you wanna create a little bit darker, so this is gonna turn the blacks blacker and this across is the whites a little whiter. So we're almost enhancing the highlights and the shadows. Um, and the mid-tones, let's bring them up slightly. Let's turn this help layer off. You can see before and after. So you can see already that's a better blend, almost more contrast there. And now I'm just gonna have a quick play. Now sliding this black over to the right is gonna reduce how dark the darkest black is. So as I bring this over to the right, you'll see the whole woman brightens. So the blacks, the darkest black is being reduced. So I'm actually gonna leave that as it is and the whites. I'm actually gonna leave that as it is as well. So there we go, that is adjusting the levels. Now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna adjust the saturation of the woman to match this image. So to do that, we're gonna add another help layer and I'm just gonna create a new group just to create a tidy document. So let's call this help layers. Let's add this black and white into the help layer. And the next help layer we're gonna add is a selective color. Now what we wanna do in selective color is we wanna select reds. We wanna move the blacks all the way down. Yellows, blacks all the way down. Greens, cyans, blues, magentas. And then with the whites, we wanna adjust the black so it's all the way up. The neutrals, the black all the way up. And the blacks, the black all the way up. And we wanna change this to absolute. 
So now we can kind of, we can see the saturation better, and I'll explain how in a second. So you want to make sure absolute is put in here, not relative. And you can also save this as a preset. So you can save selective color preset. So you can just load this in at any time. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to come to our adjustment layers and we want to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. And again, we want to create a clipping mask so it only applies to the woman. So what we want to do now is we want to look in our image. Let's turn these help layers off and we can see, right, okay, this sort of the red in the woman's legs, we want this color to kind of match maybe ready tones here or these yellowy tones here. So when we have this on, we can see here that it's quite low. So the saturation here and, and around the face and the neck is probably too high. So what we can do is grab our little grabber up here. You can simply click on those areas and reduce them down. So there we go. So let's turn the help layers off and let's turn the human saturation layer off. So this is before and this is after. It's actually a very, very subtle if you can see. So I'm actually going to do a few more edits here. I'm just going to click and drag on the leg again. Just drag that down. I'm doing these effects quite, quite extreme so you can see in this video. I'm going to turn the help layers off, turn the hue and saturation layer off. So this is before and this is after. So she's slightly desaturated. Remember, we're going to add color back in later in this tutorial. So we're going to add some tones in here, yellowy tones to the right and some red tones in here. So we want to kind of create a neutral tone so we can then go in and adjust. So we don't want to create a perfect result here. We just want to create a good balance with this layer on so we can actually kind of match these two images together as a good base for us to move forward from. Okay, so let's have a look and see how we are if we're happy with that. So this is before, so this is a levels adjustment. This is a hue and saturation adjustment. Perfect, so we're looking good there. Now the next thing we want to do is we actually want to adjust the colors. So to do that, we want some more help layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer, a solid color layer. And I'm going to fill this with 50% gray. So come to the brightness here and just add 50. That's 50% gray. And then we just want to set this to luminosity. Sorry, not luminosity. We want to set this to saturation. Oh, sorry. I've got the help layer turned off. Let's just come back in, turn this off. I believe it is luminosity. There we go. So luminosity is going to make these colors much more sort of vibrant and extreme. And depending on what image you are using, if you can't see these colors, you can always come in, add an exposure adjustment layer and just turn the exposure up a little, which is going to brighten everything up. So we've got these help layers on. So just the two layers. So we've got our color fill 50% gray at luminosity and we've got the exposure layer there. We've got the selective color and the black and white turned off. Now what we can see here, is the, the main colors in the image. So we've got a lot of blues, we've obviously got the reds over on the left, the yellows over on the right. So we can see our image, so any bluey tones in our image, we kind of want to match to like the other tones, the other bluey tones around our image and up here in this lighting above. And again, we just want to create a sort of general base layer here because we're going to create um, all these yellowy tones on the right here and all these red tones separately. So we just want to kind of match this woman as best can to this background to give us a good base. So to do that, we'll come in, add another um, adjustment layer. And what we want to do is you can do this two ways. You can do this with curves, curves, or you can do it with selective color. I am just going to do it with curves and again, create a clipping mask. Now what you want to do is you want to, I'm just going to zoom in slightly just so we can see a little bit better, all the tones. And you want to come in to red, green, and blue. And you want to have a play and you want to see how these affect your image. So you can see there it's changing. So if I come all over here, super orangey, ready color. Looks pretty cool, but that is not the effect we want. We want to create a nice subtle blend. So maybe we do want some slightly redder tones. So we can come in and play and you just want to play around with each one um, and have a see which one works best. So you also got to take into account what colors you're trying to match to. So let's turn these help layers off. So obviously this is 
solid black or this is a very deep black so we can look at blacks down here under the car so essentially when we have these help layers on we want to match these sort of colors to the colors in the top and you can do the same again so we've got these sort of skin tones we want to match them more to this yellowy tone um, over here on the right so again let's just turn those help layers on and come into the greens so that's too green more sort of purpley tones adding in to green again purpley tones we can leave them these can be very subtle these adjustments we're not trying to look for an extreme effect so let's add some more bluey tones into our image there I'm just going to bring this over to around there okay so then you can turn the help layers off and you can turn the curves adjustment off so that's before and that's after so that's before and that's after again it's hard to see because you want to with the help layers it's easier to make that adjustment to make those colors match but when you actually look it might be super super sort of a very small adjustment not very clear you're not going to turn this layer on and off and see a drastic drastic change unless the image that you're placing into the scene is super super different in color just bear that in mind okay so now we have our basic adjustments done um, which kind of blend our, our woman in nicely into the image so let's just run through them so we've got the levels there we've got the hue and saturation take the saturation down and we've got some color adjustment there now that is the first lesson in this course we've kind of blended the two images together which is already looking pretty good obviously there's lots of all the highlights and everything which we're going to focus on later and you've got the woman's shadow that we need to place in but as a basic blend that's a great foundation for us to move forward from so thank you very much for joining me i'll see you in the next video where we'll tackle some more cool effects in photoshop and create a better blend on this image